Alright guys, so I've had many, many questions about the difference between legacy and UAFI. I tried to explain this once before, and it's kind of hard to explain. Um, legacy was built for older operating systems like Windows 7. Um, Windows 7 is probably the only operating system that actually runs good on legacy, and anything newer than that runs better with UEFI. And um, so let's try to explain this. Um, maybe we can. Huh. I'm trying to figure out how to do this. UEFI is the new standard of PC booting. Okay, it allows you to be more interactive with your hardware. Um, it allows you to get the full performance out of your hardware, period. And it's the drivers that are built for UEFI are just better. They perform faster, they have less errors. Even Windows has less errors on UEFI. Now this tool is called Rufus, uh, um, you know, it's called Rufus. It creates a bootable USB drive the right way, and the easy way as well. And um, do I have my drive plugged in? I think I do. No, I don't want to check for updates. I don't. And when you plug a USB in and you're trying to make a bootable USB for Windows, which we're going to do right now, I'm doing this video for a friend of mine. Um, I'm getting him on Windows 10. If your computer is compatible with UFI, this will pop up. If it's not, you're going to get this or this, one of the two. But to make full UEFI, what you're going to need to do is GPT partition scheme for UEFI. Now, we need to also grab um, an ISO. And since he's going to be on the newest build of Windows, that's not for insiders. Uh, you just select the ISO using that button there, and then you select the drive. You need at least uh, a 4 gig to 8 gig drive to be able to pull this off, and just hit start. Now, with your BIOS, what you need to do is just select the USB, and depending on some drives, it will say UEFI on some, okay? And just do that and install Windows normally. You'll have a more a better performing system.